Okay, so you may have um, a door between your house and the extension or the living space conservatory that you're having. You may be considering how do I form a thermal barrier between those living spaces, and there, that is a key point. If it's not under building rates, the extension, then you do need to have an external type door. Whereas if you're having building regulations approval on the new extension or living space, you don't necessarily need a thermal type door. So you could have some sliding glass doors, some of those crittle um, steel looked sort of doors. So here's a two pane sliding patio door. And the good thing with patio doors, because they slide past each other, you don't see the double thickness in the middle that you might see with a pair of French doors, for example. And they obviously don't open into either room. So you've got um, nothing opening there, you've got nothing opening there. You've just literally got the slide in. This particular one has got a low aluminium threshold, low mobility threshold. So there's very little trip hazard on it. And obviously they're super secure because we've got lock the locks, one, two, three, four, there's six locking points on that. Here is another option. If this is about eight foot wide or 2.4 meters, if you've got an opening and a back width, you could have a two pane door, which would slide one way or the other. And we can put handles both ends so they, they go both ways. But some people prefer to have a pair of doors that open from the middle. So that in this particular case, obviously that's ideal because there's a chair there and a chair there and you go into the room from the middle. The only thing is, if you have this type of style, you have got the thickness of the two panes, the, the two door sections where they meet in the middle, that are obviously a bit wider than when, you, if you just had this door, you'd only be looking at that thickness, which is, I don't know, 100 mil roughly, Whereas you've got the double the thickness there, but you have got the central opening. And again, this has got the low threshold on here. So because it's between two rooms, and it does need a bit of thinking about it because you can't always dig your floor out. But this has definitely got a lower threshold than having a standard PVC threshold across the bottom. But it's a nice option, and just so you can see the difference.